Okay, so what I'm going to do with this, and uh, you know, experiment with that. You don't have to experiment. It's it's no big deal. I'm going to go in here and grab this form and delete it, right? And I've got to cut through here, and I can also come in here and tab, click, and uh, delete that as well. Or you know what? Actually, I got to turn that to a solid form. Because remember, I made a void form of this, and I cut that geometry. So now I got a kind of a, a bunch of little weird things going on here. No big deal. I can kind of grab that form, and let's see if I can delete it. No, it won't let me delete that now. That's interesting. Um, so in lieu of that, I can always go backwards in time, right? I can come back here and get rid of that form, right? And I'm just kind of undoing, right? I'm undoing it now, and now I can go in here and edit it in place again if I want to, and I can kind of hover, grab that, and delete that, and I can even delete that line work too that I put on there, all right? And I can say finish mass. So we've got this mass out here in this shape, and again, you all have this in your model. Um, let's think of this as a building that we designed just for a moment, okay? So here's our building. Maybe I'll put it on consistent color so you can see it a little better. I'm going to go to a south elevation and notice that I've got these levels, right? So let's think of this as a building. I'm going to go ahead and change level 2 to 12 feet, right? And then I'm going to add what? I'm going to add a few more datums. So let's add some datums. So if I go to add datums, I can come in here and say datum. And I can go 12 feet. Um, actually, I'm going to go here and go to 12 feet. And that's level three. And then I'll go 12 feet to level four. And I could actually just come in here and copy this to people. I mean, that's the easiest way, right? Um, I'll do one more. Um, So let's say I've got these six levels, okay? And I'm not thrilled about this sixth one. You know, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that sixth one. Let's not put that in there. So um, I'm going to drag these so I can propagate these extents so they're all meeting up and nice and clean. So now they're all nice and clean. I've got these five levels. And let's notice something. Does anybody remember? I'm going to pause the video for a second because I want to talk about this little condition right here just for a second. So um, what that is telling us is that there is no what? There's no floor plan associated with it. So let's make our floor plan for it. So let's go over here, and that will happen sometimes. No big deal. Let's go to the View tab, and let's say Plan Views, and let's go to Floor Plan, and let's say Level 5. Let's say OK, and now you can see Level 5 appears there now. So we've got levels for everything. So now that's great, and they're all blue. That's what we want. Let's go to a quarter inch equals a foot scale. Let's go down, quarter inch equals a foot. And there we go. All right, well, you know what? Actually, it'll be easier to see them if I leave it at eighth right now. So I can drag these in some, and I like to do that. Now, one thing that's nice about massing is that massing allows us to let use our datums to create things. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, let's go to our massing and site tab and say we want to create a floor, right? If we create a floor, um, there's, a, there's a couple of different ways we can approach this. Now, I want to stop the video, talk about something, and then bounce back into it, okay? Just a second. Okay, so we talked about how to perhaps create those floors, right? So um, I can always fall back on doing what? As a level, creating a floor at a level, right? So if I go to the architecture tab and go to architectural and I've got that generic floor, remember how I can pick lines. I can pick one, two, whoop, two three, four lines and have a floor. But there's got to be an easier way to do this. And we're going to get into that a little later. What I want you to go in and do, though, is to set up your datums as you see them here, 12, 24, 36, 48. And then I just want you to put that bottom floor in, okay? And then we'll move on from there. Because like we discussed, it doesn't seem like it's giving us a way to just put floors in by levels with, without creating what? Without having a face to do it on. So we'll look at that in the next video after you all get caught up, okay?